it's that time that we learn some proper English pronunciations so that we do not embarrass ourselves when we are having conversations. Let me bring in our Willis Saching. Thank you so much for joining us. Willis coming to us live from Kisumu County. It's great to see you. How are you? Betty, I'm fine, thanks. And how are you? I'm great, Willis. Well, I want us to get it started with uh, Word on the Street. Let's listen to it. Black. 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 Black you. Black. 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 Black you. Black you. Black. 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 Maratatu. Maratatu. Break me. Break me. And Willis, the winner is that last lady. Cut him in so much. She just said, but there's play, click, play, Q, black, who. Talk to us about it. Well, Betty, uh, the correct pronunciation of that word is black. Mm. Black. Okay. You don't say plague you, you don't say <laughs> plague. Yeah. So you and E at the end or in the ending of that word, you know, the two letters are silent. Mm -hmm. You say black, mm -hmm. black. But as I always say, Betty, right. some of these words are tricky. You see, like we talk of mog, mm -hmm. we don't say mog you, we talk of black not mm. pluck you mm. not plague all right or plague got it willis moving on to a word that we've uh, had <laughs> so many times uh, especially over the last week do you say re requiem mass requiem mass how do we go about that one we say requiem requiem mass requiem a requiem uh -huh. must not requiem requiem and all that you uh -huh. say Requiem. Requiem mass. Requiem. Got it, Willis. Now, the next word, I'm going to spell it out for you. M-A-C-H-E-T-E-S. Machetes. How do you say oh, it? That's the correct you pronunciation. You are talking about machetes. Machetes. Not machetes. machetes not machetes. You know, we say machete, machete then the plural is uh -huh. machetes. Uh -huh. Machetes. Uh -huh. Not che. Not care. Uh -huh. Machetes. Machetes. Yes. Okay. Got it, Willis. Uh, there you are. I always thought it was something else. I don't want to embarrass myself, so I won't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> but moving on to another one. It happens, one. <laughs> Betty. With English or any foreign or target language, some of these errors, you know, we all make mistakes, sometimes without knowing, but mm -hmm. this word is machetes. Mm. Okay, yes. got it. All right, Willis. Let's move on to another word here, and I'll also spell this one out. It's so simple, yet a bit complicated, I think. C H E W. <coughs> Do you C -H -E -W? chew something? W. Yeah. Oh, we say chew. To chew. chew, not chew. We don't have the vowel glide. You say chew. <laughs> you don't say, I'm chewing something. You are chewing. <laughs> to chew something. Drew, grew, brew, you don't say brew, flew, those glides are commonly heard, but that is locally. When we talk yeah. about the English English pronunciations, mm -hmm. Betty, don't say chew. Mm -hmm. You say to chew mm -hmm. sugar cane. Okay. To chew. Chew, not chew. To but chew. There All you right. are. Okay, moving on to this other word. Uh, D E R B Y. Derby, Derby, how do we say that one? Betty, in English, you say Derby, 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 a Derby between uh -huh. Manchester United and Manchester City, uh -huh. Derby. Don't say Derby, Derby is in Kiswahili, just like I talked about Poda, Poda Kiswahili, but in <laughs> English, you say Powder, Vocha Kiswahili, English, voucher okay. so derby in english derby in kiswahili just like jersey 
you say jazzy in uh -huh. Kiswahili, uh -huh. but in English you say jazzy, jazzy number eight. All right, jazzy, mm -hmm. not jazzy. You yes. see that one for poda. That one, I know a couple of people who suffer from that problem, that small problem. They are saying poda instead of powder. It happens. Yes, yes. You know, okay. some of these mistakes, mm -hmm. Betty, we normally make them because of what we hear regularly, and that is locally. Yes. Yeah. To the extent that we think uh -huh. that they are right. You see, like when I said chu, chu, even you found yourself, you know, wondering, is it chu or chiu? chiu. Because we hear of chiu, but yes. you say chu. chu. So... Dabi, jazzy, uh -huh. powder, uh -huh. voucher. Okay. That is in English. Okay, got it, Willis. Yes. Moving on to our feedback question from Ken Ogega. Data or data? When you're talking about D-A-T-A, -D -A, data or data? <laughs> <laughs> Betty, that one reminds me about one rosy nyax uh, called also sometimes more fire. She says, you know, Friday briefing is really on fire but that is it so rosie nyax i think she has gotten that but now the question is about the word data yes we say data mm -hmm. but remember that this word is also pronounced as data so two acceptable pronunciations mm -hmm. so ken ogega and wickliffe okay they should say data or data all right got it willis any more surprises um apart from those two well betty we can't miss a surprise word right. when we are on air mm -hmm. now many people talk of verses yes, verses, verses or verses uh -huh. such and such a team versus such and such a team or mm -hmm. the other team this is not the correct or acceptable way to pronounce this word mm -hmm. this word is pronounced as versus sas Versus, okay. not verses. Versus. But the way verses is uh -huh. the plural of verse. Uh -huh. A verse in the Bible or in a chapter of a Bible uh -huh. and also verse for poetry, uh -huh. you say verses. But verses. for this word, meaning against, uh -huh. we don't say verses. You say versus. 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 <laughs> so That's AFC Leopards versus Gorma here. Okay. We should not say verses. Whoa, okay, that's yes, a surprise. Betty. That's a surprise, but it's <laughs> verses. I know. Yes, that yes. is why I brought it. And then, okay. Betty, we also have words which people confuse. We have mm. below, in the lower position or place, uh -huh. we say below. That is with one L, B E L O W. We say below. below. Then, when we talk of an animal cry, mm -hmm. we don't say now below we say bello that is bello. with double l mm -hmm. you say bello bello so bello is the correct uh, word there that is the the lower word is bello right the upper one is below but remember when we talk of a cloud of smoke or that is a mass of smoke or when we talk of a moving cloud yeah we have below so below, below that is b-i-l-l-o-w we say below and betty a special request from people who really love this program uh -huh. they've asked me that these words that they have just sent in we should also focus on them deluge issue or issue uh -huh. we also say macabre macabre uh -huh. not macabre or macabre uh -huh. macabre then we have adherence uh -huh. yes adherence. adherence then we also have mentorship Men mentorship, mentorship not mentorship uh -huh. then finally covert not covert and remember we also don't say covert uh -huh. we say covert to covet that letter o takes okay. the mid central vowel sound uh covert covert uh, okay. Betty, how are you okay Willis. those are serious <laughs> surprises they're covert um and you I know, know we can Covet. always get you don't say covert okay yes. got it got it willis and remember you can always catch willis <laughs> the word master right here willis some of those words we have to talk about next about them next week you have to really explain to us why um but for now so thank you so much willis there for joining us here on friday briefing Right, that has been...